I have hit pay dirt in the um, great names category of Royal Lemson Spa's wonderful graveyard. There seems to be a row of them here actually. What's this one I've just noticed? Marion Susanna, widow of W.J. de Cruz Grieg. <laughs> what? I if that's any relation to the Norwegian composer, Edvard Grieg, via South America. De Cruz Grieg. He died suddenly. Suddenly. Fanny Jane Grieg, third daughter. Died on Good Friday. I like it when they note the deaths are on religious days. We've had Ascension Sunday, Christmas Day and Good Friday. And it's obviously, I think, I presume it's a good sign to pass on a, a holy day. I wouldn't know, of course. But what a cool name that is. But anyway, I've got distracted. What I was actually going to show you was, A, this is a wonderful grave. Look at that. Wonderful carving there to get that log effect. Nice. Some nice sculpture. I think that's a random piece of sculpture from elsewhere. Yeah. That's just randomly accumulated there. A bit difficult to see. And then it's a Julia, the fourth and much beloved daughter. So in other words, the best daughter. Freeman and Mary Horniblow, who fell asleep in 1881, bless her, aged only 16. Not my will, but thine be done. And they're the Horniblows. Freeman Horniblow. Freeman and Mary Horniblow. Horniblow. I mean, that's just, that's going to be my password for everything now. Yeah. Horny blow. I mean, you, just, you couldn't make it up. Uh, George Corral, Caroline, Orem, Coral, or Corral. If you want to pronounce it. No, that's not particularly interesting, is it? But rest in peace, mind you. Of course. But, um, however, this is absolute pay dirt, isn't it? In remembrance of Gustav. Adolfi Cock, born at Raw Arca, Raw, Raw, it's the River Raw, isn't it? So Raw Arca, Württemberg, Germany, 1833. Fifty years later, he ended up in Leamington Spa and was considered a faithful and attached friend. So yeah, I wonder if he came here again searching for the cure but you know not even Lempton Spa can stop mortality it's about time they found a cure for that death so we can all live in a holodeck or something with Picard and Riker <sighs> anyway I've, uh, I've amused myself enough so uh, but respect you, Gus, Gustav Adelphi Cock. Why, why haven't people got proper names like that now? Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Horniblow. Oh, thank you so much. Rest in peace.